When it comes to recruiting in college football, in my personal opinion, the most fascinating aspect is definitely the quarterbacks. It's probably the most discussed as well, and everyone loves to talk about which quarterbacks are rising, who are the steals, and who is actually going to translate to the next level. We get a lot of crazy stories when it comes to quarterback recruiting, and in today's video, I want to talk about probably the latest riser in the class of 2023, who recently made a pretty crazy decision. Not only did he turn down playing Big Ten football, but he turned down going to one of the best universities in the world. Instead, he will walk on at another program, and in today's video, we're going to talk about this dude's story, why he spurned both Harvard and a Power 5 offer to walk on another school. Today we're going to be talking about Jack Grusser and his story. Before we get started, quickly be sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a like if you want to support today's video, and let me know what topic I should do next. To quickly bring you up to speed, Grusser right now is only a three-star recruit and is part of the class of 2023. He was committed to Harvard for quite a while and turned down an offer at Rutgers to walk on at Michigan. This was a nice late, this was a nice late addition for the Wolverines quarterback room to go along with the news of Jaden Davis, who will come in in 2024. To talk about Grusser, he started his career at Bergen Catholic High School, which is in New Jersey, but was stuck behind four-star future Notre Dame quarterback Steve Angeli, and that was for obvious reasons. Because of that, he saw an opportunity to transfer to another successful program that needed a quarterback. That was Ramapo High School, and he would spend his next two years there. Sorry if I butchered that high school name. In those two years, he put up pretty insane numbers and became one of the best quarterbacks on the East Coast, throwing for 4,500 yards and 56 touchdowns. Obviously, he was on the East Coast, so he was not getting a ton of high major attention, like most quarterbacks out there don't, but he was slowly getting on multiple teams' radar. A few weeks later, a local Big Ten program would finally offer him, as that school would be Rutgers. Grusser said, quote, Coach Shiano pulled me into his office before the Michigan game and explained to me how he loved what I do as a player and as a person, and he offered me a scholarship. I was obviously very thankful and appreciative to receive an offer from my in-state school, and it was awesome to receive my first Power 5 offer. At the time, Rutgers interim offensive coordinator was also a family friend of the Grussers and actually coached him as a younger kid, so many assumed that he would go to Rutgers. This obviously meant a great deal to him, but there was one problem. He was already committed to another school by the name of Harvard. You guys are more than familiar with Harvard, as they are one of the top universities in the world, and it means a great deal to go there, and no matter how you get there, it's a big deal. Whether you're on the football team, one of the smartest kids in the world, or come from some sort of family, going to Harvard means everything. When it comes to football though, they're honestly not talked about much. The Ivy League is definitely past its heyday, and the biggest name to come out of there is by far Ryan Fitzpatrick, but that program is not necessarily known for producing big time college football players, especially at the quarterback position. He also said at the time that Rutgers reached out that Michigan was also contacting him and talking to him about joining the team. It seemed he was going to have a decision to make. As of a couple of days ago, he finally made the change, despite it being super late in the process. He said he decided to commit from Harvard and commit to the University of Michigan. He said he appreciated everything the Harvard coaching staff did for him and that he was ready to get to work. He ended up finishing with multiple Division I offers and one Power 5 offer, but decided to take a preferred walk-on position at Michigan. This honestly is a pretty good move for him. I believe recently Michigan has upped their NIL game as I believe they're promising walk-ons a certain amount of money, and maybe this is the secret approach that Harbaugh and the staff are taking. Grusser is one of those late rising recruits who might actually have some serious potential and getting him on the roster is definitely worth a preferred walk-on spot. When it comes to his actual game, scouts have compared him to another familiar Big Ten quarterback. They said he looks like Noah Vedrill. While Vedrill is by no means a superstar, he does have starting experience and played at both Nebraska and Rutgers, and if he can find a way to start, that's a pretty big deal. They also say he's much more athletic, and it seems that everything always comes back to Rutgers for this guy. So what's crazy to me is that he not only passed up an offer from a local Power 5 school, but also decommitted from one of the best schools in the world. Now there's a chance he's going to have to pay for school and may never even see the field, but this could end up being a risk worth taking for him. Right now the quarterback room has JJ McCarthy, who obviously has a superstar ceiling, but after that, the QB room is really weird. You have Davis Warren, who is a former walk-on, and then two three-star recruits in Alex Orgy and Jaden Denigal, both of which are very unproven. After that, you'll have Jaden Davis, who's obviously a five-star in the class of 2024, but in my opinion, there's a little bit of a gap between McCarthy and Davis, especially if JJ's good enough for the 2024 NFL Draft. That could be an opportunity for Grusser to compete with Orgy and Denigal and take advantage of an inexperienced freshman. 
He also had FBS offers from Old Dominion and Western Michigan, as well as a ton of lower level East Coast schools who seem to have great academic reputation. Another angle we can look at with this is that apparently Ivy Leagues don't offer athletic scholarships and being a PWO at Michigan, I imagine gives you a decent shot at getting decent financial aid there. He's also from a pretty nice area in Jersey, so maybe that's not even a worry for them. According to 24-7 Sports, Grusser is a three-star recruit and the number 89 QB in the class of 2023. And while he is super late and super underrated, he reminds me of another guy who took that same sort of risk. His name was Dan Valari, and he was a player just a couple of years ago who chose to walk on for the Wolverines and eventually transferred to Syracuse, where he is now a starting tight end. I forgot to mention, he was a quarterback as well. Overall, it's not every day when you turn on college football news and you see a guy pass up a full offer to go to a Big Ten school and decommit from one of the top universities in the world to be a walk-on at Michigan, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens, and maybe this risk will pay off, and he'll be one of the next great stories in college football. I didn't know if you guys would really enjoy this video or if it was even worth making, so I hope you guys did enjoy it, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment, let me know what topic I should cover next, and check out all my other videos on the end screen, including my video about Michigan's new secret transfer. I hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.